Happy Monday and welcome back to another week of Buzz TV. Let's start off this episode with Gabby and your school news. I sit by myself, talking to the moon. Today is day six, Monday, March 1st, and these are your student announcements. Eighth grade course in seventh and eighth grade band will be held today, ninth period. Spring sports physicals are due today. Eighth grade LCTI applications are due in the guidance office today. There is a grab and go breakfast every day at 7.15 a.m. Today's lunch is beefaroni with broccoli and fruit. Tomorrow's lunch is grilled cheese sandwich with corn, cinnamon, and applesauce. Tomorrow is a hybrid day A in cycle day one. Some reminders from the main office. If you are absent, you must submit an excuse note within three days. If you call home for something to be dropped off, it's your responsibility to come to the main office and pick it up. There are no bus passes. What's going on, my favorite middle school? It's Anna back with today's world news. I'm sure many of you have heard of the strange things that astronauts have left on the moon's surface from different moon explorations. Well, golf balls are among the list of these items, and one of them was just recently found. Alan Shepard, commander on Apollo 14, hit three golf balls from the moon's surface in 1971. Check out this cool video clip of it. In this clip, we hear Alan guess that his ball has flown miles and miles and miles. However, as recently proven, this isn't the truth. An imaging specialist spotted one of the three golf balls hit while enhancing the original Apollo 14 video footage. So how far did the golf ball go? It actually only went about 40 yards from where it was hit. Cool, huh? Well, that's all I have for world news today. So let's fly over to Mariah with your weather update. I'm sorry, don't leave me. I want you here with me. Good morning, LMMS. It's Mariah here with your weather news update. Today will be rainy with a high of 46 degrees and a low of 20 degrees. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high of 36 degrees and a low of 28 degrees. Well, that's all the weather news I have for you today, LMS. And I'll to Dina with your sports news. <laughs> What's going on, LMMS? It's Dino here with your sports news. Happy Monday, LMMS. On Sunday in the NBA, the Cavaliers beat the 76ers 112-109 in overtime. The Pelicans lost to the Spurs 117-114. The Timberwolves lost to the Wizards 112-128. Jazz beat Magic 124-109. And the Mavericks beat the Nets 115-98. In the NFL, my top 5 prospects for 2021 are At number 5, Jalen Waddell, a wide receiver who is a junior at Alabama Number 4 is Kyle Pitts, a tight end who is a junior at Florida Number 3 goes to Caleb Farley, a center back who is a junior at Virginia Tech Number 2 goes to Jamar Chase, a wide receiver who is a junior at LSU And of course, my number 1 prospect is Trevor Lawrence a quarterback who is a junior at Clemson. Well, that's all for me, LMMS. Now on over to Kira with your entertainment news. Hello, LMMS, and welcome back to your entertainment news. So, because of COVID, all big theater productions were shut down right away. But, while Broadway is closed here, theater over in Australia is starting up again. Being described as the pandemic pioneer in the theater industry, Australia started opening up shows like Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, 
Come From Away, Hamilton, and Frozen. Before the show begins, actors are scanned by robots that take their temperatures. When the audience arrives, the viewers have to scan a QR code for contact tracing. And they are only allowed in at staggered times so they can be seated by row. Australia is only able to do this because when comparing the amount of average COVID cases in a week, six, to the U.S. average, 69,483, there's a pretty great difference. So, LMMS, if you were in Australia, would you buy tickets to see a show? That's all for your entertainment news today, so let's head on over to your bit. No hands, she said, look my, no hands, and no darling, I don't dance, and I'm with Roscoe, I'm with Rocker, I think I deserve a ch- best okay okay mine are pretty wow wow <laughs> which one do you like the best Have to tailor. um ciao anyway so okay so here's mine aren't they gorgeous yeah i like the color <laughs> Okay, so which one do you like the best? Uh, I like Taylor's more. Okay, here are mine. Here are mine. Yours. Mine? Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, is this like a dream? Here are my cupcakes. Here are mine. 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 Here Exotically colorful. Exactly colorful. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like the tail Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay, here are mine. We have Brooke now. Lindsay Cam. Okay, go ahead, Brooke. Three, two, one. <laughs> it didn't even work. That's how gross my icing is. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Now on over to today's show.